Hey guys, welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I have a quick vlog for you guys. Um, remember that Tesla I mentioned in uh, the previous vlog? Uh, we took in a Tesla on trade, and uh, as to be expected, it is sold. But I do have a little bit of time with it. So this thing is crazy. This is the first time I have seen a Tesla in person, but this is the uh, 2017 Tesla Model X uh, 100D, I think is what it says on the back. But um, I'm not sure if that's trim level or what, but this thing is crazy. And honestly, I haven't even really got to look at it yet. Um, like I said, it's sold. Uh, my uh, one of my managers was actually driving it. He was demoing it for a little while and he uh, He said it's awesome, but it's sold. It's leaving tomorrow and uh, You know, I asked him if I can just borrow it for a quick video because I've never seen it or actually, you know been with a Tesla in person until now and I thought it'd be a great thing for the channel so like I said, this is a 2017. I forget what the mileage is on it. It's like 20 some thousand, I think already. Um, but yeah, this thing is crazy just from what I can, I've can i seen so far. So, I mean, in person, I think the way that this thing looks is awesome. I uh, just, I love the design. I like how round it is. <laughs> I actually um, featured this in a, a vlog uh, actually it was the last vlog where we were looking at cars that might be comparable to the Aztecs looks and somebody said the Tesla Model X looks like an Aztec uh, maybe in the back like I mentioned where the back window slopes down and it has the spoiler and then the sudden drop here maybe that's the only thing but other than that it really doesn't look like an Aztec so uh, now obviously since it's sold I cannot take it out I can't drive it I've obviously drove it back here the key is in my pocket so every time we get close enough you'll see the lights and stuff come on because the proximity key is letting the car know that hey we're close and we're gonna probably get in so it turns the head or the these lights on it unfolds the mirrors and it turns the back lights on I was gonna try to film with my work camera but uh, for some reason it won't allow me to shoot video so here's the key it looks like the Tesla <laughs> ain't that cool seriously you just have this key on you and uh, the car knows when you're near here's here's where it gets really cool and I know a lot of people know this because this car has been out for a little while now but it's mind-blowing to me because I'm doing this for the first time in person. So, as you see, there's no door handles. How do you open the door? You push them. And when you push them, they open up by themselves. <laughs> now, automatically, once, uh, as you see, everything kind of powered on already. And uh, I love the color scheme in this one. This is... Uh, it's black and white. It's it's awesome. I love this this wood trim across. It's, it's like suede on the dash. It's such an amazing car. Like uh, you know with the schemes and stuff, the color schemes. So uh, yeah, even on the door. It's weird because I've noticed like these controls here and these controls and the shifter lever here, they're all Mercedes Benz parts it's really really strange to see mercedes-benz parts in a vehicle that's not a mercedes-benz but as you you know power windows power door locks well actually i'm assuming they're automatically locking <laughs> but there's no button for it i don't think uh, not that i could see but anyway but yeah power windows power mirrors mirrors of course are power folding i love the sillless doors that's pretty cool uh, here's, here's something cool, obviously. You push this lever, and the door opens up like that. <laughs> and it says Model X right there, and 
it's it's like a spaceship it's so weird it's so weird seeing in person there's three rows total so uh two four six people can uh be accommodated in the model x it looks like the all the seats are powered i see controls here uh, i'm assuming they fold and stuff now there are safety features that will keep you from getting hurt um, if you're in the way of these doors while they're moving so uh, i don't know how close you gotta be and i'm not gonna try obviously uh, i think this is how you close it how cool is this let's get in real quick so there's no uh what i've learned there when you're here in the car and you know the doors open you push the the button on the screen here and it will close your door <laughs> so um yeah so at this point um once you are in the car obviously with the, with the key and stuff on you the power is on the car itself really isn't on but it's like in it's like in accessory mode uh so like the you know the, the stereo is playing um and then we can close this out here if we hit the brake that's when it turns on so now the car is powered and um you know you would use this to put it in drive like you would in a Mercedes, you know, um, it's what's this show? It, it shows that I'm not buckled in. I'm the only passenger, but I'm not buckled in. Uh, obviously, battery life, the outside temperature, a speedometer, um, power usage. I'm assuming I'm, I'm not 100% sure how to read that. Um, let's see, climate controls you can do using this button here, I guess. So, yeah, it's changing the, the climate. Um, if we hit that button again, yeah, you could do fan speed, display brightness, recent calls and contacts and stuff. That's crazy. Um, this button here, that's your volume. So that's that there. If we put it back in park, um, it prepares you to open the doors and stuff. That's, it's just so bizarre. Like my mind is like, <laughs> Blown. Um, now, obviously, it looks like it has that adaptive cruise control. Not going to try that out. Honestly, if I were to drive this car off of the lot today, I probably wouldn't be trying it anyway. I'd be too scared. <laughs> that seems like something that would take a while to get used to. This uh, steering is very effortless. It just feels so easy to turn and stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, now, of course, we have this huge screen in the center. Um, and you know, I'm somebody who, who likes buttons, you know, I'm not used to having or seeing a large, like iPad basically <laughs> in the dashboard, but, um, it looks really cool. As you can see, it's, it's got this huge navigation map, uh, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, it really looks like a cell phone. It's, you have your Wi-Fi, um, you know, signal stuff here, Bluetooth, a clock. Um, obviously it's just really strange, but, uh. I'm not sure what's what's playing. It's streaming radio from somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I guess we can pick pick things. It's like really weird if, what's this do? So, okay, so it's got, looks like vehicle settings at this point. And then you can go to just having the music, which, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I can't even get the whole screen in the picture. Um, what's this do? Uh, camera charging. Okay, so it looks like it just brings up some other information. Heated seat controls, uh, your climate, your temperature. So, yeah, I mean, there's just so much here. It's, it's strange. When you put the car in reverse, um, you know, it opens up uh, a camera, obviously, and uh, shows you a diagram. Um, glare shows you a diagram. So if we were getting close to something, I'm sure it would like turn red somewhere to let us know we're getting close. Um, there's a storage pocket down here. Uh, it looks like s just slots. I'm not sure what that is. If it's just, you know, dividing. This closes too, it looks like. I don't know how to open it up. <laughs> oh, okay, you push on the other side. So, um, couple USB ports, a 12 volt power outlet, 
Uh, these, here's your cup holders, uh, adjustable armrests. Uh, this does not open up. It doesn't seem to open up, so there's air vents on the back of it. Uh, is there a glove box? Is this the glove box? Yep. Wow. So yeah, so here's uh, the guides there. Uh, I don't see a full owner's manual. It's probably like an online thing. Who knows? Now one crazy thing uh, about this is the windshield. Look at how far up it goes. You're like, seriously, <laughs> it's like right over top of you. That's awesome. Uh, the uh, the headliner back here also looks like it's made of uh, suede. Oh, it's so cool. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's check out the rest of it real quick. Oh, the wind blew. So I think... It's very windy today. So if we push this... Let's go. <laughs> That's so crazy. Outside. <laughs> That's so strange. <laughs> I love it. And I'm not a fan in, of like electric cars yet, you know, I'm not really. In there, I like gasoline cars, but just the features themselves are like so amazing in this in this car. It's just it's unbelievable how how this stuff works. The seatbelts are or the buckles are integrated into the seats, so that's cool. Uh, two cup holders in the way back. Uh, up here, um, are there cup holders up here? I don't know. A couple USB ports, it looks like. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really have enough time to mess with this. Okay, let's close this. And the back, I'm assuming there's like a button back here. Yep. So this is the charger or the, the home charger, or trickle charger, whatever you call it. 12 volt power outlet back here. Got a nice mat. Uh, the seats fold, somehow I'm assuming. These are like loops. Front trunk is now open. Oh, it's so crazy. No engine, nothing. And there's it's actually a pretty decent amount of room. It's a pretty decent amount of room under here. It's not bad. I don't know if this closes on its own. I don't think so. I think we have to close it. If we get in, we hit close all. Everything closes. <laughs> Sorry, it's not every day that I get into a car where the door is actually open and closed for you. So uh, I guess I'll just take it around real quick and I gotta go, you know, I'll have to park it back up front and call it a day with it. But so yeah, so now it's on. We'll put it in drive. When you let your foot off the brake, like my foot's off the brake, it's not going. It doesn't coast like uh, a regular gasoline car. You have to hit the brake or gas to fully get it to move. I'll turn around over here so I can go the opposite direction. And of course there's no engine noise of any kind it just sounds like well it sounds like nothing you have a slight you know pitch 
The second you let your foot off the accelerator though, it, uh, it starts to slow down pretty quick. It actually, you know, it feels like it'd be really, really nice to drive, but like I said, unfortunately I can't take it out. So this is the best that we're going to have to do for today. <laughs> But I'm just, uh, I'm just happy that I, I can finally drive a, a Tesla and see what, see what they're like in person. It should change the music too to like a more calming music of sorts. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you can also do this. This, I think, is really funny. What? Fart on. <laughs> See, when you hit that button when it's on demand, you, that should work. You can change it so your turn signal makes it every time. But <laughs> let's say you're picking someone up and they're hopping in this passenger seat. Yeah, then you can hit and the button. And it's going through each seat. Yeah. That's hilarious. So, back there. <laughs> but what's funny is you can change the noises. Who would? <laughs> the shorts ripper. Falcon heavy. The ludicrous fart. That's a good one. You got the neurostink. You got the boring fart. And then the random one is just a different one every time. It's, it's cool. You can actually make the navigation look like you're on Mars too. It's, uh, it has something to do with this, I think. Wait, is this like a... Oh, <laughs> that's even different. So you can... Wow. Try. Now that's even cooler. I didn't know we could do that. So that's new. All right, what else we got? We got the Atari. You got the built-in Atari here. See, I, I, I had no idea any of this was even oh, yeah. on here. Is, but... <laughs> uh, that's neat. Uh, the second you get out of the car, you don't turn the car off, obviously. So as soon as you get out and you have the door close, it's off. It just shuts off automatically. So yeah, that's, it's, it's a crazy, it's a crazy car. <laughs> it's awesome. All right guys, so I know there's probably more to this thing that I'm not really touching upon right now, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I gotta get it back up front, get it back on the charger and uh, that's it. So, hey, finally got to see a Tesla in person and uh, take a look at it and uh, I think it is pretty awesome. I'm still not 100% crazy about the whole electric car thing, but I just like all of the, the the features and stuff that this thing has, and I like I like the color scheme inside, and it's just it's 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 a pretty awesome car, uh, you know. Uh, I don't know much about them, but yeah, I mean, I, I I wouldn't mind taking it out and actually, you know, getting a real driving feel for it, but you know, unfortunately, I can't. But at least I got to look at one. I got to kind of bring you guys along with me. And uh, that's it. That's all I've got for today. So if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Check out teespring.com slash store slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. And that's it. I'm going to go uh, park this back up front. And I will see you guys next time. So thank you again for watching. Take care.